So, uh, so, um, so, uh, guys, don't forget from now until May 22nd, you guys can use the code Foxy for 30% off every G Fuel product in the store. Make sure you guys use the code at checkout and you guys will get an awesome discount of 30%. It lasts until May 22nd, like I just said and repeated. Once again, if you guys have never tried G Fuel before and you guys want to know what flavors are good or what flavors to try, ask me down in the comments and I will be more than willing to help you guys out. So today, we're going to be talking about recycle content in, uh, in Call of Duty. Because I got a comment the other day. It said this. Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 11 equals classic character. MP7 in BO4 equals recycle cycle content many cod fans are dum-dums now we're gonna talk about this obviously i don't agree with this because there's obviously a difference but we're gonna talk about it we're gonna play some bo2 in the background so hope you guys do enjoy if you guys do make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers i'm out of school i'm done school so we're gonna be daily uploading we're gonna be streaming more as well on twitch so make sure you guys go follow my twitch as well and without further ado let's go bros I thought we was gonna have a Foxy Graham, Graham Paul and Peggy, but he didn't. What did you just say? I thought that was the one that did that video with. Wait, what? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so like I just said, I don't think that that's a valid explanation. Like, I don't think that that's a valid comment. No offense to anyone else who really thinks that, but I just don't think that that's valid. If the difference between, you know, a character in Mortal Kombat and a character and like a gun in a game is that the character actually adds like value to the game it actually adds like a story arc or anything something like that to a game and that's like the big difference between that scorpion is a character that it, he's a significant character in the mortal kombat universe they have to bring him back every game basically and there's multiple versions of scorpion in each mortal kombat game he looks different in most of the games you know he still has the signature gold and black but at the same time he doesn't always look the same. He's got a different look pretty much every game, and it's always modified. And then, like I said before, it plays a role in the story, you know? And I think that's the biggest thing that I look at when I look at that comment, is that there's differences between all these things. Guns at Arees in a series of Call of Duty games is pretty much looked at as recycled content because we've gotten the same guns for so long that it just feels like it's recycled. I think that's another problem with there being so many Call of Duty games. It's the fact that there, there's, there's been so many Call of Duty games and that there's been so many guns that they don't really know they don't really know what else to put in the games because everything's pretty much been done however they could do they could do some new stuff they could do some really wild shit if they really wanted to and they haven't and that's fine you know i mean it's fine for the time being but i i don't think that that comment is valid what do you guys think do you guys think that you know mortal kombat reusing characters is the same as call of duty reusing guns personally i don't think so i think that there's a big difference but you know everyone's got a different opinion and that's okay you know i'm not i'm not bashing the opinion i'm just saying that i disagree with it Hostile ATR inbound. the fuck oh, jesus okay yeah we're, we're not gonna not gonna run near that there we go uav on standby guys you got another uav killing spree Hold on, let's see here. Oh no, oh my god, dude. Fucking, t oh, oh, oh my. What? Oh my god, let's go. So I guess this leads me into my next question. Do you guys want new guns that we've never seen in Call of Duty before? Or do you guys want guns that, you know, we've seen in Call of Duty before slightly different? I feel like if they release, like, say, a Modern Warfare game. Some sentry guns I'm about to put up, yo. Or if, they, or if you know, they put out a... Uh, they put out a, I don't know, a Black Ops game. And they didn't have something like the M16 or AK47 or M8A1 and Black Ops and you know or a FAMAS or something or I don't know just something similar if they, if they didn't have anything that related to the series I feel like it would be weird it would just feel weird man so now that kind of leads me into my answer of like how I feel about the whole situation personally I would rather them bring in new weapons 
but also bring back, you know, a couple old ones as well. I feel like just like leaving out the old isn't good for the series at least and for the franchise just because Call of Duty is just so distinct and there's just so many iconic and memorable weapons in the series that if you leave it out completely, it just doesn't make sense. Like there's no, I don't know, there's just things that don't relate. Like you like I said before, you can't put out a modern warfare game and not have the AK-47, the M16, and the M4 in the game. Like it, that just doesn't happen. You can't do that because it just doesn't it doesn't relate, you know? Everything's got to kind of relate somehow. You know, there's kind of there has to be some connections within the games. There's got to be consistency if that makes any sense. Holy shit. The fuck? Why is that? Why does that make so, such a loud noise whenever I kill him? Oh, maybe it may. It's, no, it's just a warthog. It's, yeah, okay. I was like, why the fuck does that make that sound whenever I kill this dude? <laughs> Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about recycled content in Black Ops 4. And do you guys think it's similar to that Mortal Kombat, uh, like, comment? I don't think so. I think that there's a difference between guns and characters. I think characters that are a part of a story provide more of an arc and more of a leeway to, you know, bring certain people back. You know, like in the Modern Warfare series, you wouldn't have Captain Price be in Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 and then have him not be in Modern Warfare 3 like that doesn't make sense so there's got to be some consistency but there's a point where the consistency is not required that's what I think about it I hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications um, use code foxy on gfuel.com for 30% off your order that is lasting until the 22nd like I said at the beginning of this video and uh, yeah I'll be live on twitch tonight at twitch.tv slash foxy grandpa yt the link is down in the description below as well I'll also leave the G Fuel link down at the description uh, at the top as well so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys later goodbye